In 11th grade, the back and forth between moving houses continued. This is me starting my school, my school year in Virginia. Uh, I took a lot of classes, APs and honors. And you see a lot of pictures of only me because I was extremely isolated. I wasn't allowed to have friends over or go to friends' houses. So I really put a lot of energy into my fashion. I continue with that. Uh, I received my driver's certificate and studied, watched movies, and read a lot of books to pass the time. <laughs> I also began to take an interest in cooking and was also very uh, conscious, self-conscious of my weight. So I would do a lot of weird eating routines to make sure that I stayed in a certain weight range. Although I had many different styles and uh, appearances, it was a huge struggle for me to keep up with my fashion sense and just to feel beautiful because we was extremely poor during this time i spent in virginia with my stepfather i learned how easy it is to not be financially stable i went through times where the water was shut off the power was shut off just it was struggles to pay the rent we needed to call my mom to to get food often it was terrible Around this time is when we started living with my grandma because the bills was getting too high and stuff like that and it was still a struggle. Eventually we did get out on an apartment again, which was a really nice apartment <laughs> in my opinion. Now we're wrapping up 12th grade year and this is around the time where I went to prom and graduated. I don't have any of those pictures because my stepfather ruined all of that stuff for me and my mom decided to keep my diploma and stuff like that. Graduation day was one of the saddest days of my life, literally. Here are a few of my post-graduation pictures. If you're interested in hearing some of my life stories in depth, join me on YouTube. See you.